Hi, I'm Aaron Parecki. I'm a developer advocate at Okta. Today we're going to spend about five minutes adding authentication to a PHP app using Okta's API. If you don't already have an Okta developer account, head on over to developer.okta.com and sign up there. All right, let's jump into some code. Here we've got a very small skeleton app, which has an helper method for making HTTP requests, which will handle a URL and it'll uh, make a post request if we send parameters and then it JSON decodes the response. There's a chunk here where if the user is already logged in, it'll show the username. If they're not logged in, we're gonna print a login link. And we've also got a way to log out up at the top. We're gonna to hook this up to Okta to make this actually work now. Let's start by setting up a few variables we're gonna fill in. And then let's head over to the Okta dashboard and make a new application. Click on your applications tab, click add application. We'll make it a web app. The only thing we're gonna change here is the redirect URL. We're just gonna make a one page PHP file here. Go ahead and hit done. And now, and now we have our new application created with our client ID and client secret. We're gonna go ahead and copy those into the code we just made. Gonna copy the client ID here, copy the client secret. And now our OAuth application is created. The last thing we need in the Okta dashboard is we need Go to this API tab and click authorization servers. Click on default. We need this metadata URI. So let's copy that into our code. All right, we're gonna, this, this has a few variables that we're gonna use later in the code and we're gonna store those parse result in metadata here. So let's head over to the terminal and start the PHP server so we have something we can look at. And then in the browser, we should see now our login link. This doesn't actually do anything yet, of course. So the first thing we need to do is back in our code, we have to start building up this URL to send the user to to log in. In OAuth, we need to first set a, a random string called session state, which we use to help secure the flow. We're gonna build up the authorization URL by building the authorization code request from OAuth. So the authorization endpoint from the metadata is the Okta authorization server that we're gonna send the user to. And we're gonna set a few parameters from OAuth. Response type set to code. Client ID is the client ID we registered. Redirect URI is the redirect URI from above. And we're gonna set the state from our session. That's our login URL. Now, if I reload this page, clicking this link will actually send us over to Okta and back. Now there's a code and, and a state in the query string after we got sent back from Okta. So we need to actually handle that request now. So back in our code, we're gonna add a section above this, which says if there is a code in the query string, we're gonna exchange that code for an access token. We first need to double check the state matches. And now we can make an HTTP request to exchange that authorization code. We're gonna make the request to the token endpoint with the code in the request. We're gonna include the client ID and the client secret this time. And the redirect URI. All right, the response should include an access token now. We don't actually care about the access token except we're using it to fetch information about the user. We're gonna make a request to the introspection endpoint. And this request is going to have 
the client ID, the client secret, as well as the token we just received from the response to the previous request. Now the response to this is going to include a parameter active, and it's also going to include the username. So we're going to store the username in the session, and then redirect back to the home page. Now, back in the browser, let's click login, get redirected back with the code, and it's exchanged for an access token, which is used to fetch the user information, and now we're logged in. So that was a quick five minute version of adding authentication to a PHP app. This code is all up on GitHub. You can see the complete example here. Don't forget to sign up for a developer account on developer.octa.com so you can make your application and try this out. Thanks, I hope this has been helpful. Check out our blog, developer.octa.com and follow us on Twitter at OctaDev. Dev.